The ceremony had all the images of Africa you'd find in glossy brochures and travel websites, a celebration of the many faces the continent offers to visitors. And they came from as far afield as Morocco and the Maldives to be named the best of the best. There are dozens of businesses here, from boutique hotels to major airlines. This is an industry worth more than $40 billion to Africa, and this is their opportunity to sell the continent to the world. This South African resort has picked up awards for the last 15 years. It's just a great testament to the business, the way it's run operationally. It's great because the awards itself, um, the nominations and the votes come from industry professionals and the guests themselves, so it just carries that much more weight. Not all the winners were as predictable. Cape Town, Durban and Johannesburg were all in the running for African Destination of the Year, but were beaten by an unlikely competitor. And the winner is Mombasa, Kenya. Which is trying to reclaim its image after terror attacks. Negative publicity about Ebola and terrorism has caused a fall in the overall number of visitors to Africa. It's around 50 million visitors a year. It's more or less what uh, Middle East is doing now. So it's not growing as fast as Middle East or many other continents. But people are still coming to Africa and we are still selling every single country in Africa. So while the nominees compete against each other for the top prizes, this competition puts Africa's attractions on show to the world. Lucy Taylor, SABC News in Zanzibar.